back for our fourth fight of the evening. And Jamie and Haymaker Hay here with Chris Clark, with Lee Crawford from Goliath MMA. A massive crowd behind him, taking on Thomas Sands, Combat Performance Academy. Ball across again, this underway. Rangy Southpaw is Crawford. Yeah, two big, tall fighters here, so. Nice question mark kick as well. You can see how flexible uh, Lee Crawford was during the intros. So no surprise that he'll go head hunting at some point with the high kicks, no doubt. Takes that nice leg kick roll there. And Sam's looking very relaxed. The right hand. Tricky, there's such a rangy southpaw though. Crawford using that range perfectly so far. A good left hand to the body from uh, Crawford. Answered back with a, a roundhouse from Sands, but then a head kick from Crawford. Looks like he's uh, been itching for this moment for a while. Oh. Sands, oh, beautiful right hand! Go get them hands back up, though, as Crawford. And that stuns Crawford for a moment. And now this is where Sands wants this. Hunting that single and finally completes. Big yeah. right hand, that. Yeah, it really, really was. Both debut guys here as well. And then we see lot put on the line today, early on in their careers. And then we've seen Crawford, similar to uh, Kenny, uh, not Kenny Wilson, sorry, Greg Picken in the previous contest. Long limbs, seeing what he can do, will he go high? The difference is here, though, is, is Crawford is using that rubber guard really effectively there, so he can actually go into a choke from here as well. It's like the buggy choke. Yeah, grabbing the fence there and getting a warning from referee Paul Crossley. He's just not in the position to do much with it. He's controlling with it very well, but he is really crammed in against that cage and stacked at the moment. His hips aren't down. So Sands doing all of the right things at the moment, and he's been forced to let it go. Yeah, he was using the rubber guard effectively as a hold, but the pressure from Sands was probably too much on that leg, and he's had to let it go, but he's looking to go back again for it. See that left leg creeping up every now and then. He's turned out a little bit, so he may look to go for a, for an armbar if he can start to isolate here. Yeah, Sands just uh, just sitting heavy in his base for a moment there. Crawford trying to get some form of lateral movement. Sands, like I say, I think he's just trying to get the position to stack him in against the cage, make life as uncomfortable as possible, and then throw some shots. But Crawford's tied him well up at the moment. Yeah, he's tying it perfectly. But, again, Sands is just looking to pressure through against that cage, using that head pressure. And Sands not doing much on top. Not for want of trying, he's not been able to get much off. Crawford has basically locked him up from the bottom. Yeah, he's done a good job of, uh, of locking up and sort of nullifying anything from the top. And this is what we were saying in, in one of the previous fights now. With the, the rule says it is, the takedown isn't enough, it's what you do with it, so... But really, early on in that fight, Sands landing the big right hand, it was pretty much stalemate in the middle of... for the opening 45 seconds, and... Crawford's, head, Crawford's kicks seem to be the, the difference maker in the start of that round, but once Sands got the, uh, the understanding of the range, he started to take over again, obviously, with the wrestling, but... I'm interested to see what's going to happen in the second round with Crawford, if he's going to come out using that range again, using that front kick. Yeah, he did well to recover, to be fair, because he waved his he waved Sands on when after, just after the shot, but just for a moment, it did stun him. He seems OK now, both guys look relatively well-conditioned. As we get set for round number two. Coming out with them legs straight away, using that, using them legs to sort of have a jab, really. Lovely left hand. You can tell Sands has got uh, a good tight background. He's he's light on his on his toes. He's constantly bringing that left leg up, looking ready for uh, checks and throwing the kicks himself. As a... oh, straight on the chin again, though, and that's what happened in the first round. And it's happened again, straight into that single leg now. And I was just about to say, as Crawford goes at it a little bit more widely, but he's open there to get in the distance closed, and he's beaten me to it. As Sands looks again for the single. 
Good left hands. Yeah, he sort of opened up a little bit there, trying to put a bit of pressure back on Sands. Right onto the temple of Sands. Throws the left hands and Sands trying to wheel him round, but Crawford's balance, utterly superb there. Really well done. And a big, big kick then. That was close to the head kick as well. But oh, oh, big right hand again from Sands. And that's what I'm saying about that stand-up background. It's very visible. You usually catch that leg and sweep. Oh, big head kick from Crawford. That's yes, another question mark kick we've seen here from him in this, in this fight. And both of them landed. That one was even more flush than the first. And we have got a fight going on, ladies and gentlemen. Big right hand over the top from Sands. Trying to tire a little bit is Crawford. You can see him on the back foot, taking a little breather, but lovely inside leg kick there. Always got to watch him with the southpaws. That inside of the left leg. Just both guys have found, I think they've found more a little bit of respect for each other. They both land. Oh, and a big head kick again from Crawford. And Sands just ate, he's eaten two of them for dinner. Yeah, he has indeed. And he's going for that high crotch now. Can't quite that link their hands up, he's gone just below. Close Can't change disc. that level now, but he's got some good pressure with the uh, hands connected. You say closing the distance again, looking for that lovely takedown. Gets the uh, the scoop on the left leg. So that into that <coughs> again, you get that buggy choke from here. So he's trying to squeeze for that buggy choke there. Or oh, very similar variation of it. Yeah, Sands. With arm in though, plenty of room to breathe and not panic. And here he is now in half guard. And again, Crawford doing well at tying up the uh, the left arm of Sands, which is obviously not allowing him to throw any shots. There we go. It's just come loose. There he throws a couple of short shots. Ten seconds to go. It's the end of this round as well, and you know another. Frantic round of fighting here, Chris. <laughs> and a really even one. Both fighters landing some absolutely fantastic shots. The two head kick Sands, like we said, eight for dinner. Sands landing some big right hands on Crawford. And both guys, testament to the chin. Both doing really, really well. And again, we go into the third round, four fights, three decisions thus far. Are we going to see the judges have to pick a winner of this one? Can the main card get any better than these prelims? I was going to say. They've been so good so far. <laughs> They've set the stall out early doors. So if you're fighting for a title at the top of the card, you better hope to bring something special. Because the ladies and gentlemen, it, both in attendance and live on pay-per-view, are getting an absolute treat at the moment. We are set for round number three. Lee Crawford in the blue corner, the white trunks, and Thomas Sands, the red corner and the black trunks, if you're just joining us. We are on fight number four of a fantastic card thus far here at XK Fighting Championships. Let's see if he goes for that head kick again. That we've seen catch twice in the last round, lovely body kick. I heard just as much. Good right hand from Sands. Looking to land on the break was Crawford. He probably should have thrown the left end kick. Yeah, he was looking for that again, and he went for the switch kick instead. Oh, gets caught on the button, though. Yeah, good right hand from Sands. Right in front of us here. Crawford. Watch that neck. Yeah, I was going to say, Crawford looks like he's hunting a guillotine. Bit of a stalemate here in the position against the fence. Sands looking to break the grip. Excellent use of the knee there. And now he's gone hunting the single. Yeah, he's doing a good job for hunting as well. He's got hold of that single. But using Crawford using that cross face there yeah, to going. stop it. And that's the only thing at the minute stopping it. Going cross face. And I think if he pulls up on that, oh, he does eventually complete. I was going to say, if he pulls up on that, he might be able to reverse the position. But I think Sands. So I'm noticing that ending up here in half guard. 
Yeah, it's a nice position to sit in, though, against the cage. And Crawford, if you get that head on the other side, he can start to throw some shots down as well. That's it, Crawford's doing all the right things at the minute. He's got the overhook on Sam's right hand, his head position. He's tried to go to the right side, like you said then, Jamie, but Crawford using that moment to, to sweep and get back to his feet. Yeah, he's doing a good job to, to attack that outside single again, though, to keep him, keep him pressured against the fence. He can now go to the ankle pick from there as well. He can let go of one on there, maybe pull that knee. And drive him back down. He's allowed his head to go inside on the chest, so he is in a bit of a worse position than he probably should be at this point. Yeah, we're going to say if he can free up that right hand here, which he has off. done there, but this allows the attacks now from the bottom. Watch inverted triangles from this position from uh, Crawford. It's, looks like he's trying to hunt something. He's got one of the arms tied in, but he's looking for the inverted triangle from here but he's not going to get it from that position it looks like he's going off that buggy choke again good left hands from Sands there now finally able to find some space to throw the shots still keeping out good pressure on the side but again with them long limbs when he starts using rubber guard he's going to go for that buggy choke again from the bottom Crawford just doing Everything, he, he's, he's, he's basically took no damage. He's, he's str <laughs> he struggled to get out of the position, but he's done, he's done well at, at basically nulli nullifying any offence, but has it got away from him? Sands just relentless on top through rounds two and three. So we go to the judges' scorecard once more. Yeah, we go again. And once again, four fights tonight. Four times we go to the junior scorecards with great fights. Both, all, every fight so far has been so well matched. You know, a lot of debuts really getting out there and putting everything on the line. <laughs> we go to our judges. Decision now with Chris Clark getting in the center of the cage to give that decision himself.